That literally never gets old. My name is Mike C. Klander, professional instructor, and a bunch of you probably own air pistols, and I wanted to talk to you really quickly about the CO2 of your air pistols. You know, what lubricants to use and where to put your CO2 cartridges. Now, the first thing I want you to remember is when you're putting your CO2 cartridge in the gun, use a little bit of silicone-based oil. Remember this, silicone-based, no petroleum products. That's super important. So I might take a little bit of oil, put it on the tip of this CO2 cartridge and insert it in the gun. That's gonna keep the seals fresh and everything lubricated like it should. So silicone-based, no petroleum products. Well, one of the things you're gonna find with your pistols is a lot of these different guns have different CO2 compartments. So for example, this one has a CO2 compartment in the magazine, but it's specifically in the side of the magazine. Most of these also have some different method or a method of tightening down the CO2 cartridge. Sometimes they have a tool in the box that's gonna come with the gun. Sometimes it's something you screw down or press down. But the bottom line is figure out how to put your CO2 cartridge in the gun itself. Um, this particular one has a slightly different location. And this is actually a pellet pistol. One of the things that I wanna point out on the pellet pistol, when you pop this open, you're gonna have a little cylinder in the pellet pistol. A couple things about the cylinder of the pellet pistol. Number one, the pointy tip pellets are probably not the best to use because oftentimes the pointy tip pellets extend past the front of the cylinder and may bind the cylinder up. So use those flat uh, wad cutter pellets, if you will. You can also use a little bit of silicone based oil back here on the gear. And if you can see, there's a small set of gears on the back of the cylinder. We always say gears to the rear. So when you reinsert this, into the gun itself, make sure you have your gears to the rear before you close that chamber up, okay? Um, of course, this one has a little bit different location for the CO2 cartridge. Once again, located in the magazine, but if you see, this actually has a small kind of hexagonal shape down here that you would insert a wrench to tighten it down. The CO2 cartridge in this particular one goes up inside the magazine. So wherever your uh, CO2 cartridge placement is, Figure that out. Don't forget, use silicone-based oils, no petroleum products. Use them liberally, but not uh, too much. Uh, and if you're shooting a pellet-type pistol, don't forget, when you insert that cylinder, use the proper pellets and insert, insert it with the gears to the rear inside your firearm. Um, you know, when you go to the range, you don't want to think about the gun breaking or figuring out why it's not working. You want to have some fun. You want to pull the trigger. Go follow out like I just did. So make sure you understand, you know, the different uh, features of your gun. So when you get to the range, you can be pulling the trigger.